Hello everyone and welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Donna and I'm a recent master's graduate from the material science program from the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, also known as Ontario Tech University. So today we're going to go over some commonly asked questions in chemistry at the high school, college, and university level. So if you needed any help with homework or with tutoring, then check out the links in the description below. Now let's just get started on our set of questions for today's session. Okay, so question one is a scenario where a titration was performed between a monoprotic weak acid and a strong base, and they found that the pH of the half neutralization point was 3.5. What is the pKa of the weak acid? Okay, so question one. So first, let's define what happens at half equivalence point, or in their case, half neutralization point. At half equivalence point, this means that half of our acid is neutralized. Okay, so let's recall a neutralization reaction where we have a weak acid and when it reacts with a strong base, this makes salt and water. So we don't know what the weak acid is, so that's just why I wrote out a general reaction. So at half equivalence point, if half of the acid is neutralized, then this means that our concentration of salt would be the same as the concentration of our acid. So since half of the acid is neutralized, then that means it made half the amount of salt that it would, and since everything is one-to-one, -one, because we know it's a monoprotic weak acid, then we can say that the concentration of the salt is the same as the concentration of the acid. So now that we know uh, the concentrations at half equivalence point, we can plug them into the Henderson equation. So the Henderson equation relates pH and pKa and it includes the log of the concentration of our salt over the concentration of our acid. So the salt can also be referred to as the conjugate base. So we don't need to have any actual values because we know that the salt concentration is equal to the concentration of the acid. So we can rewrite this equation. And when you divide the same concentration over the same value, you just get 1. So now let's plug in our pH to this equation. The pH was found to be 3.5. And when you take the logarith 
of 1, then it is just 0. So therefore, our pKa is 3.5, which is the same as our pH at the half equivalence point. Okay, so now let's see what the junior tutor said. They said that the pH is a measure of how acidic or basic water is. It goes from 0 to 14, with 7 being neutral. pH values lesser than 7 is acidic, while pH values greater than 7 is basic. In this problem, we are asked to find the pKa of the weak acid. To do this, first write down the equation reaction. The problem stated that a titration was performed between a monoprotic weak acid and a strong base. When this titration happened, formation of a salt happened as a result. This acts as the buffer solution. Then the equation reaction is monoprotic weak acid plus a strong base makes salt and water. Step two is the use, use the henderson hasselbach equation. It relates the pH of an aqueous solution of an acid to the acid dissociation constant of an acid. It is given by the equation, yep. So they just defined all the terms. And from the reaction, the concentration of an acid is equal to the concentration of our monoproduct weak acid and the concentration of the conjugate base is equal to the salt. Note that the that half of the acid is neutralized, so the monoproduct weak acid's concentration is equal to the concentration of the salt, and we also know that pH is 3.5. So when they plugged everything into the henderson hasselbach equation, they also got a Pa, pKa, equal to 3.5. So this solution is correct.